This is Jerome and I'm Mari. We are from the Bonsai Supply. And today we have a fun project that you can do with your family and friends for the holidays. Yes, so we picked up this little pine tree at a, a big box store that we're gonna transform into a little Christmas tree. So we're gonna take some wire and some scissors and we're gonna take all the branches that point up towards the sky and we're gonna wire them out to make it look like a little Christmas tree. So while Jerome is doing that, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you some close up of it and we hope you enjoy. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna apply the same bonsai techniques to uh, style this tree. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is select the branches that I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna remove the needles on the inside. If you can see right in here at the very inside of the branches because it looks too congested and I wanna get some light to get into those areas. All right, so the easiest way to do it is to pull down your branches like this and then you wanna clean up the inside. So remove all of the dead needles in here and also the uh, life needles in here because we wanna show these nice, this nice branch structure and just keep the uh, foliage the needles out on the tips. So when we wire it, we can make it fan out to look like a really nice pad. And then what you wanna do is just clean out the bottom of the, of the branch, remove all the needles that point downward so that it looks nice and clean and flush when we uh, place the branches after that. So I'm also removing all of the branches that grow straight up or straight down, or that like on this branch, this branch is very congested if you can see. So you have a branch on the inside right here, which is not needed. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this one. And then again, take all of these needles out. And you can just use your fingers and just pull them out. And then you see this branch has also a few branches that grow downward. So if we pull this branch down, you have some branches that grow down from this main branch. So we're also going to remove those. So as you can see, the tree looks a lot lighter now. It's a lot more open now. So you can really see into the tree. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and start to actually wire the branches. So the first branch that I'm gonna wire is this one and this one. This is gonna be my first branch, my second branch, and then my back branch. And I'm gonna use a thicker wire first to wire down the main branches and then a thinner wire for the secondary branches. All right, so when you style a, a traditional bonsai tree, you always want to make sure that you style your branches in three or choose your branches in three. So you have your first branch on one side of the trunk, your second branch on the other side of the opposite side of the trunk. And then you also want to have a back branch on the rear of the tree. So the front you want to keep is somewhat open and then a first branch, second, and then the last one, on, and then the third one in the back. And then you would go again first branch, second branch over here, and then the third one in the back. So if you follow this pattern throughout your tree, it is really easy to create a very traditional style bonsai tree. So I rotated the tree and now I'm looking at the front. And so you wanna take a good long piece of wire. Um, you can measure the branches, so you wanna make sure that the wire is just as long as the main branch, and just give it some extra space. So you see on this side, this is the tip of the uh, first branch. So I want to give it about just a little extra wire and the same on the other side. And you always want to start the wire with the thickest wire first because we're going to wire the main branch first, which is also the thickest part of the branch. And then you can take your wire and bend it in half like this. And now since I'm looking at the front, you always want to come with the wire from the back. 
And the reason why you come from the back with the wire is because so that you can see it from the front the entire tree. And it doesn't look like uh, a Frankenstein tree that has wire everywhere. So it looks a little neater like this. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple coils into one direction. this and then I'm going to turn the tree around and I'm going to go into the other direction and so it's really important that you always wire two branches together um, so that you and the reason why we wire two branches is that you get a much stronger hold on your on your uh, wire once you place the branches take off the wire and then once you cut off the wire always grab the little piece of wire and just give it a little more of a little twist like that All right, so we took the first wire and we wired the uh, main branches. And now we're gonna go ahead and choose a little thinner wire. And then the thinner wire is going to wire the secondary branches that we have. All right, so in wiring the secondary branches are exactly the same as the main branches. You once again bend your wire in half like this. And then this time I like to come from the bottom like this. And then again, do a couple coils into one direction, stop, and then continue into the other direction. And as you can see, I'm still wiring two branches together as before. And that's gonna create that really strong hold once I uh, place the branches. All right, so now I wire these two branches. Now I'm gonna take another wire and wire these two branches together. And then I can wire this last branch. If I have one branch left over, I can wire this branch to the main branch or wire this branch to one of the other two branches. So I finished uh, wiring my first set of uh, main branches and secondary branches. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place the branches. And so all I wanna do now that the branches grow upwards towards the sky, I'm just bringing them down and just lay them flat out so that then at the very end, when the tree is finished, that it will still resemble the look of a Christmas tree. And so I just put a little shape into the branches. And so this is the part where you want to make sure that the underside of the branch is clean and doesn't have any uh, needles pointing down. And then we just leave a little green here and then just the, uh, the tip, of course. All right, so this branch is placed. And so when you work with pines or trees in general, when you do your first styling, always spread out the branches as far as you can. Don't try to place them as close together as you can. Spread them out as much as you can. Like you see over here, I'm spreading this branch out really far so that when the secondary or the tertiary branches start to come in and I start to work on my ramification, I actually have space in between to place those. And then you can put a little movement into the branches so that the branches are not completely straight. Just give it a little wiggle like this, a little to the left, a little to the right. If you put some movement into the branches, it just looks a lot more natural. Here we are. Perfect. So I have my first branch laid out as well as my second branch. Now I'm gonna to go to the back branch and then my next layer branch. Okay. 
So, okay. So now, as you can see, all the branches are placed, and I'm gonna go ahead and continue the wire and just place all the branches throughout, all the way up to the canopy. And then at the very end, once I have all my branches placed, I'm gonna go ahead then and then start to trim the top branches a little further back to then again resemble that Christmas uh, shape look. Alright, so this is the uh, finished product and it does resemble the uh, shape of a, a Christmas tree or as we refer to it in the bonsai community as a, a formal upright. And if you try this, please tag us on social media at The Bonsai Supply. We would love to see what you came up with. And subscribe to our channel, like, give us some love in the comments below and happy, happy holidays! holidays. <laughs>